We have to determine the IUPAC name of this molecule, but it's been given in condensed formula. So I would suggest that we first expand it. So I just start on the left-hand side. Um, I don't look at any of this. I just look at the first part. So that's a CH3. So that goes like this. Okay. Now the next part, um, students often ask me, like, how do we know if this is a branch or if this is part of the main carbon chain? Well, there's no exact rule whether it does, whether the brackets is a branch or a part of the main chain, but it's always easy to figure out. Okay, so let's try to see what happens here. They tell us there's a carbon, okay, and then there's two CH3s. So there's a carbon, and then you might think, oh, well, then there's two CH3s. Um, over here, but how would you fit two CH3s? You can't, you can't do that um, because then you wouldn't be able to add another one. So that CH3 is definitely not part of this main chain, but what we could rather do is we could go this way and then this way because now you can easily make a H, three H's on each of those. And there, you see what we've done? We've just added a CH3 there and we've added a CH3 over there. So we've just added two CH3s. If you tried to add it in any other way, you would realize that you're gonna get stuck. So it becomes quite easy to figure out whether it's a part of the main chain or whether it's part of um, a branch, okay? So we've done, we've done this part, we've done that part, we've done that part. Now the next part says that there's two CH2s. Now CH2s are easy because they are part of the main chain because there you can put a C with two H's, and then you can just add another one, a C with two H's. So you've added two CH2s. You see what I mean? That's a CH2, and that's a CH2. So we just added two of them. And then the last part is just a CH3, which is just showing us that that's the end, because it's easy to put in a CH3 at the end like that. Okay, so now we have to name this molecule. So the longest carbon chain would be one, two, three, four, five carbons. So five means pent. Now on carbon, we're gonna name it from the left-hand side because the branches are over here or is over here and over here. So we're gonna label it from the left-hand side. So we could say that that's on carbon number two but then there's another one as well. There's one here and there's one here. And then you can say methyl. Now some of you are like, so, 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 shouldn't we put a, shouldn't we put di? Of course, I was just filling in the basics first. So because there's two of them, we say dimethyl. And then this whole molecule, what is it? Is it an alcohol, ester, carboxylic acid? It's an alkane. So you end the name with A-N-E. So there's the answer, 2,2 dimethyl pentane.